Uh, we're forming the league has got a little bit rocky since the January transfer window. We are going to take a departure from the league form though and go on to our first game today which is Manchester City in the FA Cup fifth round. Only four fixtures to review today before we get into the match. The first of which was a 2-2 home draw against Bristol City. Alexi and Vosinin getting the goals for us. We were down on two occasions in this game. Even look at the match stats. We completely dominated the game. But we didn't do enough to get the win. We then fell to our third league defeat of the season. We were cruising. 70th minute. Alexi gets the goal. We are 1-0 up. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm, my chair's laying back. I'm on the counter. I'm loving life. 92nd minute goal, 94th minute penalty, Stoke pinch the three points. We did bounce back though at home against Ipswich Town and won 4-0. Alexi with the brace, Ruben Burgos and David Oru with the goals. And then we were fortunate to get it in a weird draw against Brentford. They went 3-1 up. Alexi scored for us, Stanko scored two in the 84th and 85th minute to give us the point. Probably a little bit undeserved. So the table looks like this. We have dropped our lead ahead of Everton of four points now so only four points ahead of them but we are 11 points ahead of Leeds in third so top two is pretty much all but guaranteed say that quietly just in case so today's episode then it will be the FA Cup fifth round against Manchester City we are at home you know so you never know what might happen there with the team currently sitting second in the Premier League uh, let's have a quick look at Barnsley ninth Birmingham 12th Happy with that, as long as they're not getting relegated. I've noticed Montenegro is top goal scorer as well. What a signing he was. Four and a half million pounds. You're welcome, boys. Let's move on. Man City. Let's get into it. Our lineup is sort of picking itself these days, but we will quickly review it. Gunnarsson starts in goal. Burgos, Santos, Wassenin and Daly in the defence. Benesar and O'Brien in the centre as uh, the Man City central midfielder is unavailable for today's game. Platt on the right-hand side, Stanko in the centre, Mezzayin on the left-hand side, and Alexi leading the line. He's well and truly overtaken David Oru's place. Oru is definitely now just a impact sub, let's call it. Alexi, you've been an absolute star, my Finnish boy. 18 goals and 20 starts in the championship. A lot of them games coming up, uh, a lot of games coming off the bench as well, of course. Um, but now we've got to play Manchester City. They've got Stephen Finn. Look at Stephen Finn. He looks pretty okay, doesn't he? Any other interesting regions? Vargas, not that good. £36.5 million, pounds. he's not worth that. Mua in the centre half roll, not that great either. But um, they've obviously got a team full of superstars around them. So playing at home against one of the best teams in the world, you don't start on attacking. We're going to go to balanced and uh, judge how the game is going from that point. The likelihood is we're going to quickly move on to a more cautious team mentality from this point and just try and catch them on the counter, basically. Uh, but 20 seconds in, that's, it's not a highlight. Not, let's not worry about this. I thought it wasn't a highlight. Um, oh, Vargas scores close. Gunnarsson saves. First proper highlight of the game comes two minutes in. Alexi pinches the ball off the poor centre-back Moa. And uh, he, he goes for the cross. That was not a shot. That was a cross. And it just so happened to go out for a goal kick. As you can see, Man City are retraining a lot of the possession in the first 10 minutes or so. We're going to start on the cautious now straight away. And see if we can catch them on the counter. But there is a set piece for Manchester City. Bernardo Silva is the man stepping over. It's whipped in. Benassar gets it clear. Only as far as Finn. Stephen Finn. He, he missed. Terrible. Oh, Terence Platt picks up an early injury. We'll get David Oru on. On that right hand side in his place. Uh, in the past I would have put Alexi out there. And put Oru up front. But I'm trusting Alexi up front. And he's going to be a part of our squad next season. So it's worth Giving him the game time in the position where I want him to be playing. Bernardo Silva plays the ball back to Florentino. Outside of Vargas on his right hand side. Can we get the challenge in? We can't. We're jockeying him to the line. He goes back to Silva. And that's what you get when you've got the likes of Bernardo Silva in your side. His 14th goal of the season. Puts Manchester City 1-0 up. Five minutes before half time. And our FA Cup chances have just got a little bit slimmer. Decent goal. We don't need to see it again. Let's move on. Shall I take the game to them? Shall I go attacking? I, I just feel like attacking is the way to go right now. We haven't really created anything in terms of highlights just yet. Um, we're, we're doing it. We'll get beat 6-0. We'll get beat 6-0. It is not the end of the world. Um, as long as it doesn't destroy old boys' confidence running the final few games of the season. But we do have ourselves the first highlight of the second half. And I thought it was going to go our way. It still might. O'Brien picks up the ball in the centre of the park. Got the overlap from Daly on the left-hand side. The find him. Can he beat his man? He whips it in. Ha oh, Alexi. He goes close. 
Another highlight now with only 20 minutes on the clock. Bernardo Silva bursts down that right-hand side for Manchester City. Goes for goal. Gunnarsson does very well to keep a hold of that. And uh, we survive at 1-0. We will look to make some changes. Mezzayin um, struggling a little bit out there. We don't really have the options on the bench, unfortunately. Luke Daly can come off, though. We'll bring on Al Angel Dulce in his spot. In terms of Fontana, he can come on for Benesar in defensive midfield. All three substitutes made. Come on, boys. Get one back. Highlight now. 12 minutes to go. It's Man City on the attack, but you never know. We might pinch the ball and pounce, pounce on the counter. Bernardo Silva. Chilwell's on the left-hand side in a pocket of space. This does not look good. Oh, it's a penalty. Ruben Burgos gives away the penalty. And if Manchester City score here, that is probably going to be all she wrote for this match. Who is the man who is stepping up? It's going to be Rodrigo, and he buries it. Gunnarsson goes the right way, just not quick enough. And Manchester City go 2-0 up. Can we get ourselves back into this game? One goal here changes everything. Burgos, you horse after giving away that penalty. Laporte clears. O'Brien keeps the ball alive. Some good work between O'Brien and Dulce to retain possession. It falls to Fontana. He goes for goal. What a goal that was, my son. Get the ball. Get to the kickoff spot. Let's get another one. We need to see it again. I wanted to skip it and get straight back into this match, but we need to see this goal again. Excellent play by our boys to retain possession. Fontana takes a past his man, and that is a beautiful finish in the top corner. Push forward, boys. Push forward. Ah, oh, no. It's a Manchester City highlight. Vargas. Plays it to Rodrigo. Come on, please nip this ball. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Gunnarsson. This could be a highlight for us. Mezzayin picks it up on the left-hand side. It's looking good, lads. Alexi takes it past his man. Oh, Alexi. <laughs> I trusted you. Over David Oru. Oh, no, Alexi. That was a bad, bad finish. And that is going to be all, everything. That's going to be full time. Oh, Alexi. You've let me down. <laughs> Never mind. We're, a disappointing but expected result. Um, unlucky lads. We'll take we'll we'll take the positives from that. We'll go on to the league game against Crystal Palace at home. So we'll try to keep the lineup just the same, but unfortunately, Mezzayin's picked up an injury on the left hand side, so Coronado has to come in on that left hand side. Other than that, everything remains the same. Uh, Lewis O'Brien retains his spot, whilst Osvaldo Rojas is returning from injury. Um, as you can see, we do have some issues in picking out the squad. We can only actually get five subs on the bench today due to the homegrown quarter in a match day squad, unfortunately. But we've been able to survive it so far today at home against Crystal Palace. They're a good side. They're sitting in seventh. They're not going to be no mugs. Um, we've got to be at our best. First half, excellent. Superb. Loved every second. 49 minutes. That's how much it took to get our first highlight of the game. Did I just say Mezzayin? Wasn't he injured? But anyway, we'll continue on. Sebastian Haller coming down the right-hand side. Dearly does well to get in and pinch the ball. And Coronado can pick up the ball. Oh, it wasn't Mezzayin who got injured, man. It was um, Terence. What's his fiasco on the right-hand side? So that's why Mezzayin's over there. Stanko picks up the ball. Can he find uh, Burgos on this right-hand side? He can. Mezzayin's in behind. What a tight angle. And what a finish that was. His 10th goal of the season. An assist from Ruben Burgos. And we go... 1-0 up 50 minutes in Mez... I can't believe I've done that. Mezzayin was playing. He was never injured. It was Terence Pratt um, or Pratt or whatever his name is. And happy days. 1-0. With about 20 minutes or so to go, we will look to make some changes now. Ben Asar can come off for Fontana. Mezzayin's having a decent game, but we're going to take him off for Oru on this right-hand side. Um, two of our best performances we've just taken off, but we need to keep people fresh for the run-in. And I will be very, very surprised if this game has one highlight. There's Coronado picking up an, in an injury. We'll bring on Dulce. And we'll swap him with Luke Daly. Daly can play on that left-hand side when a required highlight. Crystal Palace. 90 minutes in. Are they going to rain on our parade? Or are we going to get ourselves a second? Alexi plays it back to the goalkeeper. Not a pass combination. You're going to often see the striker playing it back to the keeper. But we'll take a Daly. Bringing it down this left-hand side. Plays it inside to Fontana. And there's Dulce doing the overlap. Who, who's there? It's David Oru. He gets his 16th goal of the season. And we go 2-0 up. Some exceptional work down this left-hand side by our two left-backs. Uh, Daly and Dulce. Fontana spotting the open space for Dulce. Great cross in. Oru is there coming in off the wing. And he gets his 16th of the season. That is now three points. Surely, surely it's now done. Is there going to be one final highlight? We're already over the allotted injury time. 
Um, Fontana out of O'Brien. Is he going to go for the strike? He's not. He gets dispossessed, but thankfully... He retains possession. He's got the overlap on the left-hand side. Deal, he's there. He gets past his man. No, he doesn't. He goes back to Dulce. Can he whip in another good cross? Alexi's there. It goes over the bar. And that is it for full-time. Huddersfield 2, Crystal Palace nil. A very, very good result against the team chasing the playoff dream. So this is how the championship table looks at the end of today's episode. We are now guaranteed a playoff spot. Of course, we don't want that. We're 13 points ahead of Southampton in third and six points ahead of Everton in second. So it's looking pretty good, boys. I think we are going to win the league. We've got seven games to go, six points ahead. I fancy us in this position. So looking forward to the next episode. Then it will, of course, be the end of season. We're just going to play the one game. It will be Swansea City away from home. Un unless something interesting happens and we end up uh, needing to see a specific game but I doubt it will Swansea are currently sitting bottom as well so hopefully it's top against bottom we will have to wait and see but anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy